Hi, I am Benjamin Solomon, the founder of the Exodus One Foundation. The purpose of this foundation is to investigate the physics of interstellar propulsion. Is that possible? Yes, but no one has set up such a foundation to do this since World War II, when the Nazis supposedly acquired or invented certain technologies. To find out more about what they did, watch the history or the science channels. But that is another story. Here at the foundation, we will fund real physics experiments to be conducted by physicists working at multi-million dollar labs for the purposes of them publishing their findings in reputable peer-reviewed journals and conferences. Now a bit about my background. I am the author of this book, An Introduction to Gravity Modification. It is based on my 12-year study into the physics and technology of gravity modification. Is gravity modification feasible, possible? Will it be a real technology soon? Yes. The answer is definitely a yes. My research led to the discovery of the new formula for gravitational acceleration. The formula you see on the cover of my book, G is equal to tau C squared. G is gravitational acceleration. C squared is the velocity of light squared. The Greek letter tau is defined as the change in time dilation divided by height. Time slows down as we go down a gravitational well. Therefore, the time that slowing down is called dilation. Therefore, time dilation at this height is different from time dilation at this height. And therefore, if we take the difference in that time dilation divided by this height, we get tau. Tau c squared gives us the acceleration, gravitational acceleration in this area, in this region. The key importance of this formula is that there is no mass of the planet or star to determine gravitational acceleration. And therefore, this equation is now the new equation for propulsion and for force fields. This formula for gravitational acceleration is valid for mechanical and electromagnetic accelerations. What does this imply? Unlike quantum theory's standard model, which requires a different particle for each different force, g is equal to tau c squared is the same simple formula for all three gravitational, mechanical and electromagnetic accelerations. And therefore, by Occam's razor, this is a better model than quantum theory's standard model. Wow! Can we do this type of new discoveries for interstellar propulsion? Yes. The new physics of gravity modification informs us that this is definitely possible, that there are still new physical laws and new formulae waiting to be discovered. I therefore invite you to participate in the discovery of the new physics of interstellar propulsion through this Kickstarter project, Ground Zero of Interstellar Propulsion. This is Ground Zero. We don't expect to discover all the new physics. That is not possible in a project this small. What we do expect is to fund at least three experiments that will open the doors to the new physics. That will then cause our community of physicists to start their own experiments to seek out these new laws. As far as I know, these experiments have not been conducted by any lab anywhere in the world because our current theories are blind to these experiments. My apologies for using technical language. The first experiment is to determine the relationship between the electromagnetic wave and the probability of it of the photon localizing anywhere in that space. The second experiment is to determine if 
two entangled photons separated orthogonally by 32 meters will lose the entanglement. And the third is to determine if photon probability is Gaussian or not. I thank you for participating in this Kickstarter project, Ground Zero of Interstellar Propulsion. I am very eager to see the results of these experiments. And I should say, I know what the outcomes will be because I have done the numerical modeling. And if I am correct, the outcomes will surprise all of us. Once again, thank you.